Oh, that is a decent trout. He came out of nowhere. All right, that's not what I wanted. Hell yes, guys. I just got literally the perfect size live bait. I'm on something. Finally. Oh, I'm on something. I didn't think I was. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another episode of All Mouth Bassing. In this episode, I went out to a little reservoir a little bit south about a week ago. I like to go out there for bass, and I haven't really been on a ton of bass this season so far, as you guys know, so I tried getting out there. I was hoping the bass would be getting into maybe some pre-spawn spawn type activities, but when I went down there, they just weren't really getting into it yet, but I did end up having a little bit of luck with some other species. So I won't spoil too much about that, but if you guys want to check that out and see what I got into, I had some all right luck. I might have spoiled it with the thumbnail a little bit, but aside from that, like I said, I won't say too much more about it. So if you want to see, go ahead, stick around, stay tuned and check it out, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm down here at a little Southern Colorado reservoir. There's some water flow coming out right here, so that's kind of good. Sometimes that's empty, so I like seeing that flowing. Sometimes I get lucky with a few casts over here. I'm going to start off tossing around the micro banger. I'm actually hoping to get on maybe like a small bluegill or sunny or something like that for cut bait for catfish. So I'm going to throw around a micro bait for a bit, see if I could do that. If I can't get on anything after a while, I might switch it up and target trout or walleye or something after a little bit. We'll see. Okay guys, I actually just came into a mess of panfish here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try throwing around the Guggen Squad micro banger that I was throwing around earlier. It's the color Sexy Shad. I don't even know if I had mentioned that earlier. But I'm gonna toss this around a little bit. I'm gonna see if I could get one to bite. But they are tiny, tiny little panfish. So I may have to switch out to something a little smaller. I'm gonna give this a go though and see what I could do. I'd like to catch one on the micro banger, but I don't mind switching it up if I can't. There's also always a chance to get into some crappie over here too, and this is the perfect bait to hit a crappie with. Well guys, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but the micro banger is actually a little bit too big for some of these bait fish. I think I'm actually going to go easy mode and try to catch one or two of them on a live worm. Alright, here's a method I've actually been having some pretty decent luck catching bait fish with lately. I'm actually using a small ice jig. I forget what this exact one's called, but it's by Widowmaker Lures. And I forget the weight of it too, but it's just a little chartreuse one with orangish red polka dots. And I've got a tiny chunk of a live red worm on there. I'm going to jig this around out there with those tiny little bait fish and hopefully one of them's interested. I'm fairly confident. But then again, I kind of thought that about the micro banger, so we'll see. Oh, there was one again. I think the method is to let it... Oh, that is a decent trout. He came out of nowhere. All right, that's not what I wanted. Just spooked all the bait fish I was after. Well, that kind of blows. But, I mean, cool fish. Pretty big one. All right, bud, relax. Oh, he's mad. All right, bud, chill. Seems like I can't get away from trout lately, guys. This is... Oh, jeez. Want... Oh, there it goes. That's fine. I didn't want to keep it out of the water long anyway. But uh, it's a pretty nice fish, beautiful one, real nice colors on it. 
Just uh, not exactly the target species. And that's about my luck. Now there is not a single bait fish in sight after that trout came through. <laughs> kind of a bummer, but that was a pretty cool catch at least. Really beautiful fish, like I said. So I'm happy I caught something at least. But anyway, let's go ahead, get this worm piece back in the water and see if we could catch something I actually want to catch. <laughs> Hell yes, guys. I just got literally the perfect size live bait. I was trying for cut bait, but I'll take live bait. Just a little green sunfish. It'll work. All right, guys. It took me way longer than I would have liked to catch bait. I did want some cut bait, but I'll settle for live bait. I've got this little green sunny on a hook now. I think it's a, I want to say six uh, octopus hook. Got it on like maybe eight inches a liter with a, uh, 3 8 ounce uh, egg weight on it. Just a little simple Carolina rig. I'm gonna toss this guy out somewhat shallow. See if any catfish are interested. All right, it's out there on the bottom. Throw a bell on the rod. Hopefully we hear it ring at some point tonight. I've still got the worm that I was using to try catching those sunfish just a second ago. I'm going to go ahead and see if I could catch one more for a backup piece of bait. And after that, I'll probably move on and try catching some other species while I wait on that cat bite. Ooh, there's some chunkies down there. That's what I need. Some of them big boys for the cut bait. Yes! It's a little bigger. Not, not too much bigger, but it'll work. Uh, that was a quick, easy one. I'll just hang on to this guy and use it for cut bait. I actually decided to live load this little sunny in the five gallon bucket because I don't really feel like killing it for no reason. The only option other than live well it would be to kill it for no reason to hang on to it. And I don't really feel like messing with bait fish later on if I don't have to. And if I happen to get a bite on the one I have out, I'd like to have a backup. So leaving this guy live weld and then I'll be able to release it if I don't get any bites or if I don't lose that bait. So that'll be good. All right, guys, while I wait on that catfish bite over there, now that I've got my backup bait caught, I'm going to go ahead and throw out this jerk bait. It is actually another Guggen Squad bait. This is a Guggen Squad Scout. Uh, I think the color is algae bone. Not really sure what it's trying to imitate, but it's got a chartreuse belly, a uh, like midnight blue bl uh, back with sparkles, and the side is transparent with like a bone like rib cage kind of pattern on it looks like a nice little bait i haven't caught any fish on it yet but hopefully i could change that today we'll see I'm on another trout, guys. It's a decent one, I think. These trout just keep biting. <laughs> oh, that's a real decent one. That's not bad at all. Are you fishing for dinner or just for fun? Oh, all right. I was gonna say, if you want this one, it would be a good eater. It's a real nice rainbow. Oh, and you know what? It popped me right at the bank anyway. That was kind of a cool little fight. I don't really like messing with them anyway, so that worked out. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we could get. Well guys, I can't say I'm too crazy impressed with this part of the reservoir tonight. 
I've been fishing for quite a while now and I haven't got a single walleye bass or catfish bite. So I think I might actually try to catch one or two more bait fish to throw in the bucket in case I have a hard time finding some elsewhere. And then I'm gonna probably move on to another spot and try my luck elsewhere. Somehow earlier I forgot I even had this lighter set up on me. So I'm actually gonna utilize this now rather than re-rigging my other setup, my bass setup. So I've actually got a, I think this is called like a Wonder, it's not Wonder Bread, but it's something like that, the color. It's a glow jig, and I believe it's a, called a dropper. This one is also by Widowmaker Lures. I've had some pretty good luck catching panfish with this in the past. I've just got it tipped with a live redworm again. I'm going to try dropping this in and hopefully get on a quick panfish or two. Oh god, I stepped a lot harder than I meant to. Didn't seem to spook too many of them off though. They're all down there still. There we go. Oh, okay. He had me kind of hung up for a sec. That's a good bluegill. That will be perfect for cut bait. Literally the perfect size. Alright, one's about to grab it. Maybe. Alright, he's got it. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was a bass hook set for a tiny little fish. That was probably my fault, if I'm going to be honest. And I'm finally on another one. Jeez, that was a struggle. But it's just a little hybrid, a little bluegill sunfish mix. Ooh, slippery right there. Honestly, I think I've got enough with these three. And I've actually got one out on the hook still, so technically four. So, I think that's plenty. Unless I get into some kind of insane catfish bite, that should be more than enough. Okay, time to pull in the catfish setup and relocate. Okay, guys, I went ahead and chunked up the biggest of the bluegill I caught earlier, turned it into some cut bait. I moved to a different spot. I'm gonna send this out here and I think I'm just gonna have one catfish line out for now and I'm gonna play around with something else on the bass line. So I'm gonna send this out and hopefully we could get a bite on it. That'll work. Bell's on. Hopefully we hear that ring, unlike over at the other spot, and uh, maybe we'll get on a cat over here, who knows. Alright guys, I took the scout off my GX2 setup only because the spot I'm in right now is a tiny bit shallow, and I'm pretty sure I'd be cranking into the bottom with it, and I just don't want to get it on a snag and lose it. So, I switched off, I've got the micro banger back on again, the sexy shad colored one. And I'm going to toss this around a little bit. I don't think this will dive too deep, so I should be able to get away with throwing this. I don't know why. I'm just in a hard bait mood today. I don't really feel like switching off to, like, a weedless plastic or something right now. We'll see what happens, though. I might eventually. All right, guys, it's getting pretty dark now. I've got the head from that bluegill that I used as cut bait on my other rig. I'm going to go ahead and send this out and hopefully this gets bit too. The other one actually just got bit while I was rigging this up, but my camera malfunctioned a little and I wasn't able to get a clip of it. So I'm going to actually have to pull that in in a sec and check to make sure that's still good. I might have a fish on guys. I'm not sure if it's there or not. Something was just there. I'm on something. Finally. Feels actually kind of decent too. Let's get that bell off there. Is the fish still there, hopefully? Yes, it is. Finally, guys. What a struggle. Oh yeah, that's a decent fish. I don't think it's a giant or anything, but 
It's not bad. It's fighting odd. Seems like it's got a lot of energy. Tried to give him a little drag to work with. It's a decent fish. Not giant, but not bad. All right, we landed her. Finally, guys. What a absolute struggle tonight has been. But that is not a bad catfish. It's probably at least a good 20 inch. I'd say probably 20, 22. Not too bad. All right, guys. Beautiful catfish. Not really too many good spots to measure it right here so I'm gonna make do with what I got but we're looking at let's see oh dang sitting just about I keep scooching it a little but we're sitting just about at two foot I'd say just maybe just a hair short of two foot if even actually a little better of a fish than I thought not bad at all guys all right guys Went ahead and got some measurements and some quick pictures of this beautiful 24 inch fish. Let's get it back in the water now. Ooh, all right, it's ready to go. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Good, healthy release. Let's go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I absolutely worked for that fish, so I'm so happy to have caught it. So dope. What a nice night. I might have a fish on, guys. I was actually just getting ready to pack up and call it a night. And I got hit. I don't know if there's a fish there or not. I don't think there is. There definitely was for a sec. Oh, I'm on something. I didn't think I was. Let's go. That's awesome. I was actually just packing up, guys. Let's get this bell off here. Hopefully the fish is still there. I just let a lot of tension off, but we'll see. Fish is still there. All right. I don't think it's as big. Ah, maybe it is. It's pulling pretty good. I just have my drag set a little tight. Trying to get me in the weeds. All right, this one looks just a tiny bit smaller, but I will take it. Hell yes, guys, check that out. We got another cat, not too shabby. Awesome, awesome. Alright guys, I'm so stoked this little fish came through and bit right before I was ready to leave. That is so tight. I love it when stuff like that happens. But anyway, I just want to get a quick little measurement on this guy and then send it on its way. We got right just at 20 and a half inches. Just a hair over 20. Not a bad little fish at all. Alright, let's get this guy back in the water. There you go. <laughs> All right, there it goes, taking right off. That's what we like to see. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching another episode and thank you so much for sticking around till the end. As you could see, that didn't quite go according to plan, but it still ended up going pretty well. I ended up getting on that pretty nice channel cat kind of midway through the night. And then a little bit later on, right before I went to pack up for the night, I ended up getting on that other pretty nice channel cat. Neither of them were giants or anything, but they were both fish that I was more than happy to catch. They weren't any kind of dinks or anything like that. Put up pretty good fights and definitely made for a pretty fun night. So 
I was really happy I ended up going down there even if I didn't end up getting on any bass and like I said things didn't quite go according to plan but that's the way it goes sometimes and sometimes you just gotta switch up the game plan adapt a little bit and make it work and uh, that's what I went ahead and did got on some channel cats got some bluegill some cut bait I think I got some sunnies too just stuff like that didn't end up getting any kind of crappie perch anything like that either which I would have been happy to get but like I said, I was more than happy to get that channel cat. So I don't have too much more to say about it, guys. Thanks again for sticking around and checking it out. I'll see you on the next one, and I'll see you on the water.